First to nine, a night of celebration at Rickwood Field for a Birmingham baseball legend. People from across the country showing love for the Reverend William Greeson, who turned 100 years old today. That's right, and your reporter James Giles is live tonight after celebrating with the Reverend at his birthday party. James, what's the secret to a long and happy life? Brittany, Steve, when I asked him, he looked up to the sky, looked back at me, and said, God and staying humble. God is a good God. When the Reverend William Greeson looks back on the last 100 years, only three words come to mind. No, I Thank you. Taking no credit for himself, perhaps humility is his best trait. Because if you let him tell it, that's who's kept his wits sharp and his spirit strong all these years. Why do I look? <laughs> that's how I feel. It's a blessing to be here. Looking good and feeling better, the Reverend celebrates 100 years, years filled with story after story. All told Tuesday at a birthday celebration in his honor, history broken down by the bases on the diamond in Rickwood Field, a historic place intertwining with his own legendary history. He was one of the first African Americans to serve in the Marine Corps. He was also, you know, a Negro League baseball player, and he was a pastor, and he was a civil rights Thank activist. You. I mean, he's lived nine lives, and he's 100 years old. Okay. From pioneering professional baseball for blacks today to serving in one of our nation's deadliest wars, to boldly facing the racist Jim Crow South, the Reverend gives all credit to the man up above. But God did everything for me. He saved me. Blessed me, protected me, provided for me, kept me safe all of my days. That's who I give all my glory to. And having praying parents didn't hurt either. I only received one, one whipping. <laughs> one. We learned to respect our parents. Of course, they didn't have all the weapons you have now. You know. And Major League Baseball also wishing the Reverend a happy birthday today. They write, wishing a happy 100th birthday to Reverend Bill Greeson, the oldest living Negro leaguer. Greeson was a lifelong friend of Willie Mays, his teammate on the 1948 Birmingham Black Barons. In 1954, he became the first black pitcher in St. Louis Cardinals history. Reporting live in Birmingham, your reporter James Giles, WBRC 6 News, on your side.